For me, the thing that gives me the most satisfaction in my job is making a real difference to the patient's outcome. And particularly treating patients with GI bleeding or early cancer, that gives us as gastroenterologists the ability to really impact on patient care and, and for a positive outcome for our patients. I've been working in Glasgow Royal Infirmary for over 30 years now as a consultant physician and gastroenterologist. What I think for me, Amos Bray, is making a big impact on patient care. And over the last six years, it's now become a routine part of our practice. We will not begin a challenging or even a routine patient with GI bleeding without at least having the nurses ready and the hemospray available. It very much fits into our algorithms for, for managing patients with upper GI bleeding. Recently, I had a patient where I thought there was significant benefit from the use of hemospray that exemplifies exactly what I've just described. I was on call covering the hospital uh, hemostasis uh, rota uh, on a Saturday afternoon when I received a, a call from one of my surgical colleagues about a 64-year-old lady who had actually been admitted initially to a hospital distant from here with what was actually a life-threatening um, and thought to be an upper, upper GI bleed. At the initial uh, hospital, the patient had been found to have a right upper quadrant mass and the bleeding was of such severity that they were having difficulty in resuscitating the patient. Now, they had carried out a CT angiogram that localized the bleeding point uh, to a 17 centimeter mass, which was abutting on the medial wall of the duodenum. It was unclear where that mass had arisen, but the patient was transferred here, as is common practice, for more definitive therapy. Understanding this clinical severity, but also the fact that this patient had been well until two days prior to hospital admission, with no significant previous medical history, in consultation with colleagues in surgery, uh, interventional radiology and myself, we decided that a second look endoscopy carried out by myself with a view to trying to stabilize the clinical uh, position would be appropriate. Now, when I carried out the endoscopy, I was, uh, as you might expect, uh, confronted with a, by a lot of fresh blood. I could identify the mass in the duodenum, but I felt that it was a bleeding point with a forest 1B ongoing ooze. Um, and that that potentially, if that could be stemmed, we could stabilize the patient to make some further clinical uh, decisions on the appropriateness or otherwise of our interventions. At that point, I realized due to the anatomical um, location of the lesion, but also the fact uh, that it would be very difficult to use our established hemostatic modalities, that hemospray offered the best option for this patient. So I applied the hemospray uh, in the standard manner and uh, almost immediately realized that we had achieved hemostasis. And that was twofold. Firstly, clinically, I could see that we had stemmed the blood flow. But secondly, there was a very obvious uh, hemodynamic response, uh, which the anesthetist and the surgeons noted. And the patient's uh, vital signs returned to normal almost within half an hour to one hour and that was the first time within 48 hours that that had occurred. Having realized that the patient did not have a severe comorbidity, um, the decision was made after another three or four hours that uh, there was a high risk of um, uh, this patient having a, a delayed rebleed, and therefore she went forward for an emergency laparotomy, which would not have been possible in the hemodynamic situation that she was in prior to the use of hemospray. I've been dealing with uh, patients with severe GI bleeding for some time and um, I think this particular case really uh, drew upon every part of uh, both my training and experience. The lesion was a leiomyosarcoma which was actually arising from uh, the mesentery and after a, an extended right hemicolectomy uh, the patient um, uh, was just further discussed at our multidisciplinary meeting. This was an R0 resection uh, with no further management required. Ultimately, this patient has come in with severe life-threatening bleeding and we've managed to intervene to stabilize the situation from what would otherwise be a critical position uh, with an excellent outcome. And the patient has now been discharged back to her family. I have to say that the outcome in this case was absolutely fantastic. It was rewarding for me as a gastroenterologist to be able to have intervened with a modality that really made a difference to this patient's outcome.